this morning. Beautiful art all made out of, get this, everyday ordinary objects. This new exhibit we're about to show you is all about functional pieces you'd find around the house. So desks and chairs, everything like that, to shower curtains and even rugs. That's right. And joining us now to discuss the Handmade for Home exhibit is Lori Winters and Graham Reed from the Museum of Wisconsin Art. Thanks Good for being morning. here, you guys. Good hey, morning. guys. Great to see you. This is Great pretty cool. So everyday stuff turned into works of art. I love to, I love that idea because it makes it feel like anybody could understand this kind of art. Yeah. So the exhibition features uh, almost 30 artists from across the state who make just extraordinary things for your home. And guess what? They're meant to be used. Really? Yeah. So Truly like, is functional then. It, absolutely functional from, you know, s silverware to fireplace screens to things like brooms, mm -hmm. you know, things that are just meant to be used in your home. As we look at a few of these pictures, cool. talk us through. I mean, so the, you mentioned silverware. This rock thing we actually have here, is it a rug? The, the rocks are a rug? Yeah, we actually have a large scale five by seven rug and she ta she has Japanese influence and uh, in this piece and it really is just, because you look at it and you think it's a bed of rocks, but it's a beautiful felt rug. Yeah, so it's exciting. So cool. That yeah, and really it, it, cool. It feels soft like felt. I think that's so neat. But yeah. each each rock looks unique like rocks do. So it, it looks very real, especially from a distance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very cool. What is this? Go ahead. Uh, that's a towel by a Milwaukee artist called Reggie Baylor. And Reggie. Oh, I know Reggie. He's doing a whole line of shower curtains, towels, mirrors, mm -hmm. cushions. And so he's basically developing his art, uh, his graphic design as a brand, and then he's turning it into everyday objects for your home. See, and Very I cool. like that idea of towels and shower curtains, because you think about your bathroom. Yeah. Let's say you pull yeah. your shower curtain shut. What of a, a beautiful place yeah. for some art, and you hang your towels. Yeah. You see those things. Yeah. Right. And so I love the idea of making them beautiful, yeah. but yet usable right. yeah. at the same time. Exactly. Yeah. So, you know, we um, uh, had the idea for this exhibition about a year ago, and we were really influenced by Marie Kondo's book, you know, yeah. sort of tidying up, tidying up and, uh, you know, the Netflix spinoff and mm -hmm. the whole idea of sparking joy for your home. And we looked at what Wisconsin artists are doing. And for me, this, t this is material that really does spark joy. And so we thought, let's bring this all together and, you know, hopefully people will be inspired by it and will think about their own nest as they're, you know, uh, preparing their home this spring. Yeah, you have curator talks as well, correct? Uh, there'll be places that people can come and listen to. Yes. Um, the opening is this Saturday, March 30th, and I believe most of the artists will be there. We're also going to be having a discussion panel featuring artists. John Holsworth and Emily Graff are both going to be teaching classes at the museum. So okay. if you want to learn how to make, a, I think it's a felted birdhouse, you can do that. Or That's if you want to get uh, a, a basic broom, John will show you how to do that as well. And we've got an interior design panel, so plenty of programming going on. He has the right accent for yes. the museum. Yes, right? you do. That's why you got that hired, works right? for you. Like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> that really worked for it. I love it. Um, there are also things at the shop. Oh, right? absolutely. We took this as an opportunity to rethink our museum store. And so um, uh, many of the objects that you see on view will actually be for sale. I mean, this is what the artists do. They make things for people's homes. Yeah. So we decided to make it readily available in our shop. And so you can come see it on display. And then if you really like it, guess what? You can go to our shop and uh, you can buy it as well. It's cool. Super I neat. think you need to work on your accent though, Lori. Like yeah. Just oh. a little bit. <laughs> like if you could just take a little bit from Graham. <laughs> but there's also... Is did you mention the interior design panel too? Because I think that's something that yeah. might interest a lot of people as they think about how to bring things like yeah. this into their home. I'm really excited about that because you know, people are sometimes afraid and they, you know, they're worried about making a financial commitment. And yes. so the interior design panel is intended to give sort of practical advice. If you want to bring art into your home, how do you how do you start? Right. At what level do you start it's at? It's a commitment. And and how do you how do you make a space for it that mm -hmm. that seems realistic? Mm -hmm. I like that. Um, so you have an opening party coming up this Saturday yeah. from 2 until 5. Um, you're located in West Bend. Anybody can come to this, have an opportunity, sort of like a sneak peek? Absolutely, yeah. I think we're expecting a really good crowd already. And um, all the artists will be there, so it's a great chance to meet the artists, which is one thing we're always really excited about with our openings. You, anyone can come and meet the artists. Yeah. When I think if you have a piece of art and you've had the opportunity to either meet the artists like, you, like you're offering or know a little bit more mm -hmm. about them, the piece means that much more to you too, yeah. or even just what you're viewing in an exhibit. It yeah. does mean a whole lot more. Who is uh, Maggie Jo Sanderson too, because I know that's somebody you wanted to tell people about. Yeah, one of the things we've done with this show is we've got some, you know, uh, 
nationally renowned craftspeople. So we've got Tom Lozier, Donna Luke, who does birch bark baskets, but Maggie Jo Sanderson, I think I'd single out. She's not even graduated from my ad yet, and the desk that we have in the exhibition has already won That's an pretty. international design award. Wow. Gorgeous. So she hasn't even graduated from my ad yet, but she'll be in the exhibition. So she's Good local. For her. Local. Yeah. She's in, yeah, Milwaukee. That's fantastic. That's beautiful, too. What a cool opportunity to meet her um, and take part in some of those panels and the talks that are going on as well. So here's the information. So you can head out, like Molly said, to West Bend, the Handmade for Home, the Craft of Contemporary Design opening party is Saturday from 2 to 5. So make sure that you attend for that at the Museum of Wisconsin Art and here's where you can find more at the website it's wisconsinart.org they're located again right in West Bend beautiful thanks you guys Thank you. fantastic to see you thank you so much for being yeah, here yeah cool stuff